Hi there, welcome or welcome back to Oops I Planted Again. My name is Courtney and in today's video, we're gonna start spooky season. It's finally October. I love Halloween, I love scary movies. I love the darkness. I don't know, I love Halloween. Um, I think it's a really fun time of year. So I wanted to do a video that I hope makes sense to you, especially if you have seen any Adam's Family uh, movies, TV shows, or anything like that. So I'm gonna do a video today on house plants that give me the same vibes as the characters from the Adams Family. Now I'm only going to do um, six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only gonna do six characters because there's a lot of characters in the Adams Family, but because I don't wanna be talking for three hours about this, I'm only cutting it down to the six main like characters that I feel give off the same vibes as these house plants. So let's dive right in. First up we have Morticia. She is the head of the family. She is the boss bitch. She's the queen. Um, and the plant that gives me the same vibe as her is Queen Anthurium. I love this plant and I actually have this idea for this video probably like two months ago and this was the one like that I had to put in that I knew this was gonna be the vibe because literally look at this plant. It's so dramatic. It's like the center of attention. When you walk into the room, like this is the plant that you're looking at. And this is the Queen Anthurium dark form. And I specifically wanted the dark form one because it just gives me that va va voom, that darkness, that like richness, that I am like the baddest bitch in this fucking plant room and all eyes on me and that is the vibe that I get from Morticia Adams. Next up we have Wednesday Adams. So Wednesday is a devious child. <laughs> I mean it's literally the Adams family and she's known for her pigtails, her darkness, her pale skin, her um, she does ballet. I'm like 99% sure she does ballet. So the reason why I picked this next plant to match her is because of the striping that has pink striping in it. So I picked the pinstripe Calathea and I'll put a picture up on the screen. So I picked this one specifically because the Calathea is dark. It's also dramatic. Calatheas can be very dramatic, but some of the striping can be pink and that reminded me of the ballet. So that's kind of how I connected that plant to Wednesday Adams. Next up, we have Uncle Fester. The bald one, he's like hunched over, always up to no good, I mean, most of them are. And the plant that reminded me of this is the Pilea um, Chinese money plant, Pilea peperomioideus. Pilea, that's a mouthful, the Chinese money plant. Um, and I picked this plant because of my personal experience with this plant and it kind of gives me off the same vibe. This plant has gone back and forth with being like normal and then very not normal, acting very weird, very suspicious. And it just looks like Uncle Fester to me. I don't know why I just connected the Chinese money plant with Uncle Fester. I feel like the baldness, like the flatness of the leaves, especially if it's not doing well and the leaves are cupping over, it's giving me bald headed vibes and that's Uncle Fester. Now we're gonna talk about Gomez. So most people probably see him as like the provider, the, the husband, you know, that role. And he just goes along with whatever, whatever anybody else tells him, um, you know, whatever his wife tells him to do, he basically <laughs> does it. So the plant that reminded me of him, and I wanna go off aesthetically with this one because I couldn't get a vibe from plants that I've worked with or even plants that I know of. The plant that I think aesthetically goes with Gomez is the Black Velvet Alocasia. And I now have two. I have one that I rehabbed, and I'm gonna do a video on that very soon. And then I have another one that I just got for free to rehab. And the look of the Black Velvet Alocasia is, it's very interesting. And I also feel like Alocasias are not for everybody. They're not everybody's cup of tea, but I like them. And I think that gives me the same vibe as Gomez. He's not everybody's cup of tea, but Morticia loves him. His family, I'm, I'm assuming they love him based on, you know, how they interact in the Adams family. 
but I just love the black velvet alocasia. I think it's a gorgeous plant and I love that it can always come back to life and that gives me the same vibes as Gomez Adams. Now we have Cousin It. Now what's really interesting about Cousin It from the Adams family is that when I was doing my research and Googling and finding information like trying to get characteristics and vibes and looks for doing this video, there are actually two plants that are named, um, like their nickname is like the Cousin It plant. So the name of the first one I'm going to put on the screen because I'm 100% sure that I cannot pronounce this right, but I think it's native to Australia from my research. And it's not a house plant though, but it does give off Cousin It vibes. So I still wanted to include it and I'll include the name of the second uh, plant and the look of that one as well. I wanted to make sure I included these because I thought it was really interesting and that kind of isn't, you know, that's like very unique to everybody else in the family that this actual character is, you know, naming plants. But these are not house plants, so I wanted to make sure I included actual house plants that give me the same vibe as a character. So I picked a Boston fern, and I've actually had a Boston fern. Um, I had one for a really long time, and I had the terrible idea of splitting it up, propagating it to make more babies, and that kind of just killed it off. But the look of the Boston Fern always gives me Cousin It vibes. It's big, it's floofy, and I absolutely love this plant. And I would definitely get another one if I had the right environment. I feel like I didn't have the right environment for it. I kind of feel like I do now because I have my plant room more organized. But before it was kind of just hanging out in a room and once I split it up it honestly just died and did not come back to life. But the Boston Fern gives me Cousin It vibes. And now we have Pugsley. So one of the things that came up most was his striped shirt. He always has a striped shirt. He's always up to no good. He always has a striped shirt. He's always up to no good. He goes along with whatever Wednesday says. And that's literally the same thing that came up over and over and over again. So the plant that aesthetically reminded me of Pugsley is the Peperomia albovitata. I think that's how you say it. And I think what mostly reminded me, obviously the striping of this Peperomia, but also the coloring too, because in some of the remakes of the Adams Family, Pugsley has a red and white striped shirt. So the kind of like the reddish stripes of this Peperomia reminded me of Pugsley. And as far as Davis behavior, I really haven't had any trouble, I think, with any of the Peperomias I have. I have a Peperomia Frost, I have a Watermelon Peperomia, and what other ones do I have? I think those are only two that I currently have and I don't think I've had any trouble, but I haven't really propagated them as well as I would have liked to, but I'm always willing to try again. Um, but I don't think that constitute me saying that the plants are devious. So this one is based solely on aesthetics, in my opinion. I really hope you enjoyed this video as we're entering into spooky season and I want you to comment below your favorite character from the Adams family. Mine would probably have to be Wednesday Adams. I don't know why, she just gives me girl boss vibes. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.